May 28th, St. Germanus. St. Germanus, the glory of the Church of France in the 6th century, was born in a city in south-central France about the year 496. In his youth he was conspicuous for his fervor. After being ordained priest, he was made abbot of St. Symphorian's Monastery. He was favored at that time with the gifts of miracles and prophecy. It was his custom to pray for the greater part of the night in the church while his monks slept. He bestowed on the poor of the region all that he could of the monastery's resources and provisions, and provoked at times the indignation of the religious, who at one time had him arrested and imprisoned by means of their defamation. He had scarcely been placed in a cell when the doors opened of themselves, and the bishop, being informed of it, recognized his sanctity and treated him with great respect one night in a dream he thought a venerable old man presented him with the keys of the city of paris and said to him that god committed to his care the inhabitants of that city that he might save them from perishing four years after this divine admonition in the year five fifty four happening to be at paris when that see became vacant by the death of the bishop eusebius he was raised to the episcopal chair though he endeavored by many tears to decline the charge his promotion made no alteration in his mode of life the same simplicity and frugality appeared in his dress table and furniture his house was perpetually crowded with the poor and the afflicted and he always had many beggars at his own table he had edifying books read during the meals that their souls and his own might be nourished god gave to his sermons a wonderful influence over the minds of all ranks of people king childebert of the franks who until then had been an ambitious worldly prince was converted by the sweetness and powerful discourses of the saint he founded many religious institutions and sent large sums of money to the good bishop to be distributed among the indigent once when st germanus learned that some poor folk inhabitants of a village he was passing through one day had been imprisoned by their lord for non-payment of debts he went to pray and shed tears face to the ground at the gate of the subterranean jail where the unfortunate victims were lamenting the overlord refused to open its doors but an angel came down and did so and the entire crowd scarcely believing in their good fortune came as one person to kneel in gratitude before the benefactor at that point the overlord gave them full amnesty and cancelled their debts in his old age st germanus lost nothing of that zeal and activity which he had filled the great duties of his station in the vigor of his life nor did the weakness to which his corporal austerities had reduced him make him abate anything in the mortifications of his penitential life which redoubled in celestial ardor as he approached more closely the end of his course by his zeal the remains of idolatry were rooted out and destroyed in france the saint continued his labors for the conversion of sinners the deliverance of prisoners and the relief of the poor until he was called to receive his reward at the age of eighty on the twenty eighth of may in the year five seventy six